All kinds of media have been used to explain the happiness or the difficulties of living in Israel, to which we can add cartoons, or to be precise, 24 frames per second. Animated short films are made by students and animators born here. They speak to people of all ages. Obviously, it is the Holocaust that is the most touching. It is recounted by a granddaughter of the survivor of the concentration camp. The story of a naive child who dreams of buying a nice pair of shoes that in her imagination could save her from nightmare. The Holocaust and after the Holocaust, the years after the war. The thwarted friendship between a black German girl who finds out her grandfather was a well-known Nazi official and young Israeli suddenly abandoned by her best friend. So the film talks about uh, whether we are affected or whether we should take, um, in, 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 whether, we, whether our history, our family history, our society affects us or not. The history for our culture's history, for our culture's decisions, um, and it's an open question. Talking about Israel in the animated short film, of course, means talking about Aliyah, or immigration. How to reconcile life before and after arrival in the promised land. Sometimes disillusioned for an immigrant couple who insisted on dragging their beloved old bathtub to Israel. Or for the child of Russian immigrants stuck in a barren village with her babushka, a teenager who has a hard time fitting in and dreams of flying to the other land. Sometimes you can show with animation different feelings and different um, attitudes towards politics that one cannot so show in real cinema. Uh, sometimes it can be abstract and sometimes it can be very funny. In the collection shown at Tel Aviv Museum, none of the topics are put aside. That it's true that life in Israel has its inconveniences and its requirements. <laughs> How to survive the stifling heat in the center of the country while the sacrosanct, vital air conditioner decides to pack up in the middle of summer. Ah! Or how to move from the experience of military service to the high towers of the startup nation while meeting the demanding expectations of Israeli society. An experience that forges the idea of Gever, the ideal of hypermasculinity, not always easy to handle for an introverted guy from southern Israel. It talks about um, a small love affair between two boys in the late 1990s in a small city in the south of Israel. And um, the story is based on a poem of simplicity and trying to find like a more tenderness in a society that is, that is very militaristic and is very, you know, around war and around uh, kind of survival. So trying to find his unique place inside of that. Meanwhile, in Tel Aviv, a gay couple is quietly debating how best to hold hands in public and not to look like kindergarten classmates. I think Tal Anil did an, an amazing job curating the exhibition, and I think it gives a platform for some really wonderful works by Israeli students and animators. Um, and as I said, I think for a long time, animation was associated with childhood. Paradoxes, mosaics of characters, and cross cultures, Israeli society is all of these at once, a colorful life, and always very animated.